Okay, now my spell checker is pinging it. Now I'm positive that title is misspelled. Way to drop the ball on that, grammar Nazis. Anyway. What did he promise you? His heart. Give her his heart. In the history of film, there are those villains whose first appearance set off all the alarms and fly the banner of not to be fucked with. And Fran Sanchez is definitely one of them. In the first scene alone, Sanchez busts in on his escapee Arm Candy Lupe, shoots her lover, has Dario cut said lover's heart out off screen while he's still alive, and then proceeds to whip Lupe with a lizard's tail, and we haven't even gotten to the opening credits. Many other Bond villains have a particular shtick that makes them memorable. Blofeld has the cat, Le Chifre has the bleeding eye, Mag Zorin has the walkin, but Sanchez's shtick is pure, unflinching brutality. This is a man whose penchant for violence is only matched by the power he wields as one of the most untouchable drug lords in the world. This man has an entire nation in his pocket and has such influence that he can casually allude to a $2 million bribe so he can be sprung from jail and confidently grin knowing that he's already free. Everyone else is just not quick on the uptake. The freakish thing about Sanchez is that despite this brutality, he's actually an honorable man. He promises to bribe the one who springs him. Now, where most other villains would cross the traitor to save a buck, Sanchez actually keeps his word. His violent edge doesn't come from sadism, it comes from the belief that every debt must be repaid and every injury done to him should be reciprocated in full, and it all comes from his sense of honor. That's how he inspires the loyalty of his men. They know that their loyalty will be rewarded and inversely punished if they ever consider treason. There's no room to be petty in Sanchez's mind, so even when he's inflicting his revenge upon Felix Leiter, he says that it's all for business, and what's worse is that you can believe him. After all, Nothing solidifies your reputation better than escaping jail just less than the day after getting arrested, then promptly maiming the man who put you there to begin with. <laughs> Hell, if anything, Sanchez probably respects Leiter even more because of his efforts to catch him. Though, with all that said, while his confidence is his greatest asset, it's also his greatest weakness. It can safely be said that Sanchez's whole story in this film is a testament to the notion that no one is truly invincible, and the greatest mistake anyone could make in Sanchez's position is believing that he couldn't be touched. This is why he believes that he has the loyalty of all his subordinates, even in lieu of their glaring fallibility. Milton Crest? Well, he's a slovenly lush. Truman Lodge is a slimy opportunist, and Heller? Well, he's a former narc who went rogue. Any! of these people are perfectly capable of betrayal. The only thing that keeps them at bay is knowing that Sanchez's wrath would be horrifying. Bond, however, was smart enough to know what angle to exploit in order to bring Sanchez down. Bond knew that the best way to destroy Sanchez was to sow seeds of doubt into Sanchez's mind. Sanchez is aware of the caveats of his closest men and knows what they're capable of if they were to turn. So, after Bond successfully engineers a mind-blowing scenario, see what I did there, to frame Crest, all it takes to trick Sanchez into killing the rest of his men is for him to utter a few choice words at the right time. Very few times, if ever, in the history of 007 does Bond actually have to operate strictly in deceit in order to bring down his enemy. It makes Bond's feud with Sanchez all the more fascinating to see him take on a vicious enemy with something other than a Walther PPK.